Hello, fem my feline friends. This is Una Kitten. In our last episode, we traveled to Voli, to Temple Nu, and gained the power of Creator's Peace. It makes our opponents abandon their weapons in a fight. We haven't had a chance to try it out yet, but hopefully soon. After that, we've traveled back to Neon to get to get the plans for the conduction grid. We went to Madame Savage's to meet with Estelle Vincent. She has been working a score on Jennerdine, the power plant that houses the conduction grid. She wanted to plant a virus into their computers that would allow her access to snoop and steal whatever tech Jennerdine, Jennerdine comes up with. Estelle tells us a bit about the key players. Ayumi Komiko took over as o COO after the CEO disappeared. She also tells us how she thinks Ayumi is having an affair with Benjamin Bayou, the town administrator. She's even gone as far as placing Bayou's brother, Brayson, into a high position within Jennerdine. He's doing a terrible job destroying Jennerdine from within. We traveled to Jennerdine and spoke to G. Nashida. He's a very loyal employee, but is very disgruntled about the state of things within the company ever since Brayson Bayou has, was put into place. He then tells us that he overheard a lover's quarrel between Ayumi and Benjamin Bayou. He told us Ayumi has it in her safe, has it recorded and in her safe. Then he just gave us access to it. No problems whatsoever. He just wants Bayou gone and his company back to normal. Turns out they're not lovebirds, but business partners with Bay where Bayou has the most control. We then went back to Madame Savages to speak to the owner, M Micah, about Ayumi's whereabouts. Turns out Micah is Ayumi's lover, not Benjamin Bayou. Ayumi is only really partners with Bayou for money. She's pretty desperate and a lot of debt collectors are looking for her. We assured Micah that we wouldn't hurt Ayumi, so Micah tells us Ayumi is upstairs in the members VIP lounge. We found Ayumi and she tells us Bayou is forcing her to work for him and she's stuck with Bayou's loser brother. She just hands us over her pass and then warns us that the security is tight. Be careful. We enter Jennerdine through the storage facility. The employees didn't really care about our presence and the guards didn't look past their noses really. We did run into some robots that didn't care for us. We made our way through through and assessed the conduction grid plan accessed the conduction grid plans for Estelle. And then we went into Brayson's off Bayou's office to upload the virus for Estelle. When we arrived in, off in the office, Brayson was there and he said he was waiting for us. He knew we entered the company the moment we had. He was alerted to our presence as soon as we entered. He was, he's been sitting there waiting for us because he actually wants to help us. He gave us the cipher we needed and allowed us to upload the virus. Brayson hates the job he's been forced to do. He's tired of his brother's control and wants to get back at him. We returned to Madame Savage's to meet with Estelle. However, Benjamin Bayou was there. He knew what we'd done and he wanted to know who betrayed him and uploaded the virus, Brayson or Estelle. We told him it was Estelle. Benjamin intends to kill Estelle. We left with all we needed to return to the keep. Well, I forgot Delgado told us not to screw over Estelle, and we did. Oh well, this should be interesting when we return back to the key. We did get what he wanted done otherwise. And now today we are starting on Cassiopeia 2A, where we're going to enter the Temple Chi to get our next magic power. We got to do that little puzzle. When it decides to show up. Oh, it probably has to load. Here we go. I wouldn't mind being able to just skip this part after we did it the first time. But apparently we'll have to do it at every temple and there are 24 different magic powers to get. It's partly why I'm adding magic powers to most of the beginning of the videos, so that way I can get a good chunk of them without having to spend a lot of time doing so. Whoa. 
Well, it's getting louder, so it must be getting close. Oh. Not getting to them fast enough, I guess. Oh, there he goes. And into the scar gate that we go. Looks like Sam was in there this time. I don't know, looks like we're getting closer to plans of something. This is the third temple, but still. Sense star stuff. Bind yourself to the particles of creation, sensing the life force of any human, alien, or starborn. Okay. That's kind of cool looking. To the key. Let's see if they're gonna really hand our ass to us for killing, having a stealth killed. Hello, yeah, I just Dusty. pissed off the pirate. That's what's on my Dusty. mind, Sarah. Dusty. What, Barrett? She's waiting for us. Captain, hello. All hell's breaking loose, Rook. Delgado needs you in the repair bay with Jazz as soon as possible. I hope it isn't bad. Someone overcook a potato in the microwave? When is everyone going to stop calling me a Rook? I did the job. I deserve the respect. Don't you want to hear what happened on Neon? Well, I hope it's not bad. Oh, it's bad. Real bad. Delgado will fill you in with the details. Now get your ass to the repair bay. Go! Alright, I'm going. Well, maybe she doesn't know we screwed over Estelle yet. this repair there we go in there and you are sure we would have those defense batteries up and running no no no, no. I'm not sure they're in bad shape Del really bad shape I I'm already using duct tape and spit to keep the station from falling apart and you want me to pull a rabbit out of my hat I don't want to hear excuses I want to hear that it's going to be fixed period get it done all right all right I'm on it you want to quit standing there and hand over the conduction grid data? It's right here. I don't know what you're talking about. Getting this wasn't easy, you know. What's this about defensive batteries? Nothing you need to worry about. Stay in your own space lane and let Jazz do her damn job. Now, do you have what we sent you to Neon for or not? Getting this wasn't easy, you know. Wow. Really? You know what else isn't easy? Listening to complaints and excuses. From everyone. Alright, I get it. Just hand over the tech. 
All right, listen up, because I don't want to repeat this twice. We've gotten word that UC says death is massing somewhere nearby for an attack on the team. While we prepare for their arrival, I want you to head straight for Bannock 4 and bring Crix's legacy home. I'll prep my ship immediately. Tell me exactly what you need me to do. I'd rather stay here and fight. Why is Crix's legacy so important? How do you know that Sistef is massing for an attack? I have a very reliable source of mass. They were so concerned that the threat was real, they actually jumped the information out to us right away. So why are we worried about Crix's legacy then? Oh my god. Haven't you been paying attention? The only reason half the fleet's captains haven't scattered across the settled systems is because they're waiting for their part of the score. No money means no protection. No protection means we are done when C Step arrives. Simple enough for you? Well, what do you need me to do? Lay it out, Jess. All right, first things first. I'm gonna upload this data you snagged from Genodyne into the Keys databanks. All you need to do is build and then install a conduction grid module onto your ship. Oh, and if you haven't already, you'll need the comm spike module installed as well. When did we get our own lackeys to do everything in creation while we lay back and watch SSNN? Once your ship is ready, jump out the Bannock 4, board the Legacy, and bring us the cash. There's gotta be a catch. Of course there's a catch. What, you thought this would be easy? After you board the Legacy, be on the lookout for two transfer modules. They're special keys that allow access to the ship's vault. Once you locate the vault's control center, hook up the data core I'm gonna give you and download everything they've got. And before you get any bright ideas, like running off with the money, that currency is going to be heavily encrypted. Only a genius like Shinya will be able to crack that encryption. So bring it back here right away. Shinya's not the only one. The UC has the resources to crack that code. You can count on me. Of course I'll bring it here. I'm not a traitor. What if Shinya can't crack the encryption? That would be a first. I have yet to see encrypted currency that Shinya could not manipulate within hours. I mean, the guy plugs his body directly into his mainframe. He eats, breathes, and shits numbers all day. No, I'm not worried about it. You can count on me. Yeah? I sure hope so. Look, I'm going to make this real simple for you. If that money ends up anywhere but the key, I will hunt you down and pry it out of your dead hands myself. Now get moving. What's your biggest worry regarding the upcoming attack? Who are these captains you keep mentioning? Is there more to Crix's legacy than just money? The Crimson Fleet isn't really a fleet. It's an ideal. A principle that Chris sought to set up so that pirates didn't infight over scraps. Over time, that notion has been lost. Captains have been turning their backs on the fleet, doing jobs on the side, killing each other. Bringing Chris's legacy back to the fleet would be like validating everything Jasper Chris believed in. And I'm certain it would unify us once again. Of course, it wouldn't exactly hurt to have all that extra money at our disposal. But I think you catch my meaning. What's your biggest worry regarding the upcoming attack? The toughest attack? nut to crack is if you see Sistef brings in the vigilance. That commander Igande has himself a hell of a ship there. Advanced shield tech, bristling with weapons. I would love to see that thing burn. If we hope to stand a chance against it, we need those defensive batteries and quick space. All right, I'm headed out. Come back with Crix's legacy, or don't come back at all. I'm not coming back, but thanks all the same. Oh yeah, I gotta get the plans from Jazz. I need to get those defensive batteries online, so make this fast. All right.
Ah, uh, well, the conduction grid module helped me get to the legacy. Well, you already know that the conduction grid does a pretty nifty trick. It absorbs extreme voltage and converts it to usable power on Mia. The version for your ship can still absorb incoming electrical energy, like, say, the EM fields surrounding Van 4, but it can't store the power. Instead, it just scatters the EM harmlessly away from the hull. Insulating you from frying every circuit aboard. As a nice side effect, I'm betting the module will make your ship somewhat EM weapon resistant and boost its shield regen. <laughs> Lucky you. Well, can you tell me about the key's defensive batteries? There are three defensive batteries, basically high-powered military space turrets, triangulated around the key. They were part of the UC's original defenses for the station. Pretty effective, too can put some serious hurt on enemy spacecraft. The good news is that the batteries have an incredibly wide field of coverage, so they can pick off ships trying to reach the key from any vector. The bad news is that they're 100-year-old tech. They keep breaking down and are expensive as hell to keep operational. Mind helping me with my ship? Not a problem. Conduction grid data is all set up in the system, so it should be an easy install. All right. Thanks. All right. Let's see what you need. A conduction grid thingy. I assume you built it already and I just need to buy it from you and install it. There it is. I can go do some treasure hunting now with all this stuff on my ship. Because when we got when we accessed the files for the location of the legacy, we actually accessed information about other ships that have gone down. I think we have enough tech now that we could probably go find a lot of those ships and do some treasure hunting. All right. Bye, Jazz. I think I might need to go to the Vigilance before I go out to Bannock 4. Vigilance. Got some evidence to turn in. See what they want me to do, which is probably to go to the legacy. But they'll probably want me to get them. They better give me a cut of this money when I hand over that ship to them. I got it fair and square. So Delgado and Neva didn't say anything to us all at all about Estelle. Captain, do so you require my assistance? I expected them to like chew me out, at the very least. But neither said anything to me. Howdy. Hey, Conde. All support. 
courtships have arrived, Commander. After we make a arranging operation, I want all of their seals over here as soon as possible. Yes, sir. Spending Anything all this time with those pirates couldn't have been easy. Hmm. Glad to hear it. Let's see what you got. Grab this from Jennerdine Executive's office. Pretty damning stuff. Benjamin Bayou, pride of the Three Star Collective. The authorities there have been trying to nail him for a long time. Bringing us proof that he's been manipulating Jennerdine from the shadows is pretty tasty stuff. The FC will pay dearly for this. Good job. Have any more? That's all for now. Okay, fine, fine. <laughs> I know there's more out there, so keep on it. Would you be able to decrypt Crix's legacy once I bring it back to the Vigilance? Even as long ago as the Narian War, Galbank used an extremely potent level of encryption on their currency. Unfortunately, the Unlock ciphers are lost to time. However, if you can bring us one of Galbank's old transfer modules, I know it would help. Don't worry, I'm sure some of the techs at Mass will be able to work with whatever you bring to reverse the encryption. That's not that comforting. Alright, bye. I'll be here if you have any more questions. There you are. Where have you been? All over the place. I've been busy doing my job. I thought I'd take a detour on the way back, you know, sightsee a bit. I've been risking my damn life to bring down the fleet. Don't mistake what you're doing as some sort of heroic gesture. We're all risking our lives here. I've received the reports about your little foray into Genadine. Last piece of the puzzle before you go after Crix's legacy. It means it's time to put all the cards on the table and prepare to attack the key. I'm glad the UC's finally backing your play. Thanks to your evidence, we are finally able to convince them to task us the necessary resources. Before you jump to Bannock 4, I need to make one thing abundantly clear. What's the that? credits from that Galbank transport cannot reach the fleet. You have to bring them here at all costs. If your god gains access to those resources, we might be touching off a battle we can't possibly win. We've been monitoring the Crimson Fleet's comm chatter and the Crick system. They're gathering allies by making promises based on your success. As much as I hate to admit it, UCC's death won't stand a chance. The fleet will become stronger and more unified than ever. So we have to clean up your mess again. I swear, if we sent a team of rangers, we could deal with all of this once and for all. Unfortunately, I don't think the Free Star Collective would be willing to provide resources to anything related to the United Colonies. I'll bring Crix's legacy back to the Vigilance. I'm not going to let you down. So, no pressure then. I suppose running off with the money and keeping it for myself is out of the question. I'm not going to let you down. You're not doing it for me. You're doing it for the security of the settled systems. All right. Yes, this is it. Do whatever prep you need to do aboard the Vigilance, and then head out to Bannock 4. When you return here with Crix's legacy, we'll begin the attack. Good luck. Alright. How did you convince the UC to authorize an attack? The evidence you've been bringing to Lieutenant Toft has been instrumental in convincing the brass at mast to greenlight the attack. They've sent us support ships, extra troops, weapons. All on account of your role in the operation. Put it simply, if it wasn't for you, this operation would be at a standstill. What will happen to Crix's legacy after I bring it to UC Sista? During the end of the Narian War, the money was destined to bolster the Free Star Collective's coffers. Even though we were rivals at the time, and I suppose we still are to some extent, the credits still rightfully belong to their people. After the money is turned over to Mast, I'm certain arrangements will be made to return the money to the proper authorities in Aquila City. Alright. See you later, Kande. All my hopes go with you. Good luck. Thanks. You doing alright? Feels like we got maybe one more calm before the storm. 
All right. So Toft wants a module thing. I don't know if I have to go get that before I go to the legacy yes. or not. Seems like that's something they can handle themselves if I, like, you know, bring them the stuff. I should check my journal. No, I guess not. Just go get... Goes to Bannock 4. So, so I guess I don't have to go get that module thing. Sam, we have to go to Bannock 4. Find ourselves a ship. I wonder if we'll find Crix's body or something on the ship. disappeared looking for the ship. There's got to be evidence of him somewhere, wouldn't there? Or maybe we'll find his ghost ship and we can go loot it. This says it fries the atmosphere, fries all of your circuits. to jump again. Good job. So we weren't the first to make it this far. Obviously. That is not encouraging. All right. Docking status. Who else has made it here? Docking port 2. Status unoccupied. Ready. Clearance sealed. Docking port 2. Ship registry NA. Captain NA. So, I guess nobody else is here at this time. Ooh, our robots are all killed.
be mad if I made it all this way after all this time and they've already taken the legacy, the money and ran with it. For a ship that supposedly all of its circuits got fried has an awful lot of, you know, electricity. Guess they ran out of water though. I thought there was supposed to be some way for them to, like, recycle pee on these kinds of ships. Not super great. Crew recording initiated. All right, keep recording. So, like you were saying, that's all we have left. If we stretch things out and cut our rations in half, I'd say we'll be out of food in a week, maybe nine days. How do I do it, Kelda? How do I tell everyone we're all going to die? You don't have to. Everyone knows. They're all making peace with it. Makara and Osterholt knew. They simply chose to handle it by giving up early and taking their own lives. Look at all that money down there. Millions of credits. <laughs> Completely worthless. With all of that, I could buy another ship. Fly us all out of here. I wonder if Galbank will even bother to send word to my family. To any of our families. Captain, listen. You're not a fault for what happened. Those ships came out of nowhere. The fact that we've lived this long is a gift. A miracle. Which means we should enjoy every second of the time that remains. Right, Crowley, Captain? My thoughts exactly. Captain. I guess that's one way to spend your last days on life. Alright, crew evaluations. Osterholt, engineer. Engineer Hall. Osterholt is a valued member of the crew. His knowledge of the ship's maintenance borders on an encyclopedia. 
He has the capability to work and think under pressure, which has saved the legacy on numerous occasions. Even as a valued member of the crew, I must log my concerns regarding his alcohol abuse issues. When off duty, Ulster Holt is often found in the mess area in a mild state of inebriation. Though it hasn't jeopardized the crew or the ship, and no one has logged, lied a uh, formal complaint, it remains a potential problem that should be monitored. Well. Bakara. Crewman Bakara is a problematic member of the crew. Though he performs his role as expected, he's combative, insolent, and often challenges my commands in front of the crew. Though I am aware we are not a military vessel, I still expect a certain amount of decorum from everyone under my command. Crewman Bakara is a de detriment to the legacy and its crew. I'd like to request to be transferred he be transferred to another location within the company after our current mission is complete. Well, that sucks that you got stuck dying with him. Mayfield, medic. Crewfield, crewman Mayfield is an exemplary medic and an asset to the legacy. He's friendly, approachable, and discreet, though he informs me if an injury or a symptom could affect the crew as a whole. He works well under pressure and does an excellent job monitoring the physical and mental health of the crew. I'd like to recommend that crewman Mayfield be promoted to the Legacy's first mate to replace the vacancy left by Abdiah Mears, who killed and who was killed in last year's pirate attack. I will file the proper paperwork when I arrive at our home port. Oh, good for you, Mayfield. Simmons, crewman. Crewman Simmons is undergoing her one-year trainee evaluation. So far, she's shown ample aptitude for all of the assignments she's been given. Though her task load is light, she often finds herself second-guessing her own work, which in turn results in extended duty time. I've repeatedly reminded her that she needs to have more self-confidence regarding her duties, and I am hoping she'll take that advice to heart. I will transmit my final evaluation to the personnel division when we arrive at our home port. Aguilar Crewman Crewman Aguilar is a remarkable member of the Legacy's crew. She is one of the toughest and bravest long haulers that I've had the pleasure of flying with. She has an uncanny knack for quickly handling any problem or situation that's placed in her path. The only issue I can see with Aguilar is her short temper. Some of the more abrasive members of the crew can often get under her skin, which has triggered arguments and minor altercations. If she could conquer this issue, I would gladly recommend her for the command training program once her initial tour is complete. Ooh, gotta get that temper under control. Well, you won't have that chance now. You're dead. Kellner, crewman. Crewman Kellner is a valued member of the crew. He does his job as expected, follows orders properly, and is dependable under pressure. Tough, though his specialty is the ship's defensive systems, I've seen him jump into our role, other roles without complaint. Overall, he gets along with everyone, and I am pleased to have him aboard. That being said, I'd like to formally report I have engaged in a consensual relationship with crewman Kellner. I realize this jeopardizes my position as captain of the legacy, and I will face whatever disciplinary action that administration feels is necessary. Since this could have been have an effect on both our careers, I'd like to request that crewman Kellner be transferred within our current assignment is when our current assignment is complete. Okay. She had a pretty decent crew, other than a couple of bad apples. Mission brief. Classification, transport, cargo credits, credit tank load, approximate value classified. You are hereby ordered to proceed directly to your delivery location coordinates. You will be met by the receiver, redacted, who will provide alpha cipher clearance and confirmation. Once clearance is confirmed, data transfer may begin. Under no circumstances are you to devi deviate from your plotted course without authorization from your escort craft. Well, what happened to the escort craft? They obviously weren't doing their job if they got attacked. Well, there's Kellner. I don't remember reading anything about him. Oh, Captain Hat. That's ugly. You 
unlocked your spacesuit. Kinda creep me out there, Sam. Just hulking around in the doorway. Hmm. Mayfield. Oh. Stuff. Mayfield must have had kids. Crew reporting initiated. Well, not in Mayfield. You must be cheating. There's no way anyone could be that lucky. Oh yeah. Uh, Suggestions. 
Jennifer. And he's been killing morale across the ship. Let him soak in there for a while. When he gets hungry, he'll come out. I suppose you're right. Crew recording terminated. Well. Apparently he just locked himself in somewhere. Oh, here. Need water. Guessing water was one of the first things that went before the food. what would be better to die slowly like they did of basically starvation and of dehydration or or just putting people out in airlock crew recording initiated I wouldn't go near Alter Holt he's drunk and he's kind of soft oh my god are you alright tell me exactly what happened uh, I was bringing Alter Holt as food when I got near the Craig Tank vault entrance, I found him sitting on the floor. Bottle in one hand, gun in the other. Did he say anything directly to you? Anything threatening? No, he just stared at me and kept drinking from the bottle. The gun wasn't even quite in my way. What's happening to him, Captain? What's happening to all of us? First Bakari kills himself and now this? You have to help us! God damn it! I'm trying! I thought Bakara would be okay! How the hell did I know he'd never come out of that room alive? Everyone's looking to me for answers. Well, guess what? I don't have them. This whole thing's falling apart, and it's my fault. Captain, come back. Please. I'm oh, sorry. You didn't do anything wrong, Silas. I'll go talk to her. Crew recording terminated. Crew recording initiated. Hello? Hello. Engineer's message said they set up some kind of a recording system. Well, the red light is on, so I guess it's working. It's been a few days since I docked with the Legacy. For the time being, I'm stuck here. Every system on my ship, including the prototype shielding, is completely burned out. It's unlikely it'll ever fly again. Whatever's protecting the Legacy seems to be holding for now. Pretty amazing considering she's been here for almost 40 years. Long story short, I've made it to the prize, but now I'm stranded and trying to figure a way off this Hulk. I gotta tell you though, not looking good. Not at all. I found the remains of the Legacy's crew. Looks like they're starved to death. That's obvious they couldn't find their way out. To the victor goes the sports. Signing off. Crew recording right, right? terminated. Hmm. Well, we know Crix actually made it. Alright. Transfer module lock. Warning. All access requires an authorized transfer module. Thanks for your transfer module, dude. a mess. What is that sound? Oh, is that a turn? Oh, it's his. 
is that sound? <laughs> One moment, my feline friends. I need to pause real quick. Athena is causing cat fights. I gotta go get her. Alright, I'm back, my feline friends. Athena is a picky kitty and she likes her little siblings like to pick on her because she always rises to the occasion and they have lots of fun chasing her and she does not appreciate that. Oh, that is a spiffy looking um, safe. I don't think I've ever seen one look like that before. Not that it ever went to like a cred tank or anything, but that looks awesome. I want to get one for my penthouse. Looks all high tech. Ooh, no, no, no. Goodbye. Oh, and I got the robots going. All I did was open the door, people. Stupid robot. Oh, he's. Is he getting back up? I can't tell. I think he's dead. Oh, something else is not Oh, turret. Apparently, the cricks didn't come this far. Sam, th the stuff is in here, not at that wall. Yeah. But usually, we do what we must is better when you, you know, go the right direction and not stare at the wall. All right, did you pick? I expected did you pick use on the legacy, but I am a little surprised at that there's not as much as nor other places, other jobs. There's less here. Maybe they figure that the Gall Bank spaceship is more secure and don't need all the digi picks or the locks. Remote turret control. I think I probably already took them all out. And if I didn't, somebody else also. Active. Update friend foe settings. Recalibrate friend foe. Alright. Well, if there's any left, they should be nice to me. Remote robot control. Most of them are dead too. But I'll update their settings. You need left should be my friend. Well, most of them were taken out before getting here. Remote door control. Closed. Open the door. Alright, so some doors open. Alarm. Disarm the alarm. I don't need it loud and in my ear. All right. No, there's blood splatter on that suit. Formal slack suit. Oh, I should take that. Maybe Barrett or Sam needs a new suit. out yet. Good thing I made him my friend. Too bad I can't take him with me and put him in my penthouse. Didn't I just disarm you and then make you my friend? 
could have sworn I made you my friend and disarmed you. No, I didn't know disarm you, I guess. I just made you my friend. So... Oh, jeez! Freaking robot. Just coming out of nowhere. Two of them. And crying out loud. Oh, so that one's my friend? So the big fat one wasn't? Are you my friend? I don't know, you're running away from me. Maybe they're both my friends? Where are you running to? Why wasn't your friend over here not my friend? I would like you to stop running around, you're creeping me out. Can you go back into your little case? Stupid turret. Can't even see you, hardly. Robot. Can you, like, go take- Oh, no, you got robot friends. Oh, you're not my friend. Yes. Get get your robot friend for me. Teach him a lesson. He should have been my friend. Who are you sending that after? Well, they're in the way oh. Now. There was another turn. Okay. You're not as crazy as I thought you were. Although that gas is probably going to get to us eventually. My sensors have reported possible enemy activity. I will investigate. Yes, please go Hold. do that. I have located the enemy. All sensors report that this area is clear of hostile targets. Thank you, robot friend. I appreciate your assistance. Did you pick on this door? Athena's watching the digipics on the screen, turning when I turn it and whatnot. Like she's gonna help. <laughs> or attack. Nothing too interesting in a lock that locked door area. Ooh, radiation is starting to get bad though.
Well, this is probably for all the robots and turrets that I just killed. A lot of good it does me now. I'm sure it is just for all of the turrets that just got killed. But that's okay. I won't know until I get into it. Almost that that one wasn't going to work. Alright, remote turret control. Pretty sure I already killed all of you. Yeah, no signal. Well, isn't that? Robot control. Inactive. Yeah, maybe there's some more robots that I haven't found yet. them. Looks like they weren't active. But they're my friend now. Alarm control. Alarm. Disarm. Nobody needs to hear all that loud noise. Alright. Good to know that there were some more robots out there that are now my friends. thing I turned those robots before we came in here. Oh. So more in here. Oh, there you are. Get back, Sammy. I threw a grenade. Ooh, there's gas in there. Every time I see turrets on a ship, I think I need to add turrets to the inside of my ship. I got them on the outside, but I should add a couple on the inside in case someone tries to board me. Not that anybody's tried to board me yet, but that could be good, you know, writing for later. There's another one in there. There is. Oh, 
Ha, got you. Better we get it than someone else. Ooh, what is... A robot's having issues. System computer. <sighs> Remote door control open. So it's probably where all that gas is. But it's okay. I'm gonna open it anyway. Robot control, be my friend. Yes, be my friend. Okay, and then now you can, oh, never mind. I'll activate them. You can be active now, only for me. Only be my friend. Turrets. Be my friend. Oh, of course. I've already killed all of you. Alarm control. Ignore. Disarm. Thank you. Okay. this debris like from on the ground That's all that was in there was a sedative? warned me.
engine room computer. It's probably the computer for all the stuff that I just killed. Maintenance issue. Grab, drive, navigation drift. Description, Captain Log that jumps were off by a few thousand kilometers. Discovered that one of the drive coils was misfiring two ticks off polarity axis. Solution, drive coil LR7 replaced from existing storage. Requisition for new coil replaced. Status closed. Remote turret control. Alright, no signal. So they are the ones I just killed. Maintenance issue. Exterior running light failure. Ventral position 6. Not emitting any pings. Replaced from existing storage. Requisition for a new light replaced. Close. Remote robot control. Make you my friend first. We shall be friends. And then I will remove combat. Activate units. Okay, they're my friends. We'll shut the alarm off to disarm. Can you just disarm all of them throughout the entire ship? Uh, maintenance issue. Descript intrusive odor. Rotten egg smell reported to be emitting from the interior ventilation system. Did a sniff trace and found that one of the interior sewage lines had fractured and was leaking into vent shaft R23-SE-790. Solution, did a quick spot weld in some heat pipe wrapping. Should hold. Status closed. So does that mean you have little terramorphs like the heat leeches on here? And after a hundred years of the ship being out here, they've turned into terramorphs? Anyway. Hiding my stuff. Just people don't know how to keep their hands to themselves and they're constantly taking my stuff. Solution sealed my stuff away in engine room. In the control room safe. Code is KO09809 Close. Alright, I will have to go check that out. Thanks for the information. Everything is the issue. Grab drive destroyed, propulsion offline, weapons offline, multiple hole breaches, etc. Too much to list. Captain wants me to log everything separately, but I'll be damned if I'm going to bother. Solution? None. Attack wrecked this bird. We're finished. Solution? Open. Well, good thing you're so optimistic. Alright. Oh, that must be his safe. Thanks for your stuff. I appreciate it. Although I was taking everybody's stuff, so. Yeah. Nothing too fancy about your stuff. Sam, you better grab that book for Cora. You know she's gonna ask for it. Attacking Sam. Yeah, but Galbank's gonna want all these credits back, right? They're going to send someone to find us. We're way off the shipping lane. Our escorts were completely destroyed, and we can't send any communication. I guess that's what happened to the don't escort. Do that. God damn it, Bakari, I don't wanna hear this. Just read the damage report and let's get back to work. Read it yourself. I'm going to go get wasted. 
I suggest you do the same. Crew recording terminated. Well then. I suppose if anybody knows how damned you all are, it would be the person who's supposed to keep the ship going. breaches. I guess that explains all the like the debris and stuff. Oh there's a computer. Vault door computer. Dad, I want you to open. Thank you. Oh look at all of those credit safes. Man take forever to loot all these. these they're so pretty though I need one oh come on Sam we'll never be this close to this much money in real life so we can enjoy it in the game can we not my friend? No, you're not. You are not my friend. You were a little late coming out, too, by the way. Oh, it's one of those cheetah ones, too. a robot. Sam, or did they do that? Ooh. All of them credits. to assist stuff. for telling me you were there. Oh, Sam, you got hung up on a ladder. You should step over it. keep hearing a high-pitched squeak sound, like they forgot to change their battery in their smoke detector. Well, I guess if you're dead, you can't forget. <laughs> 
I mean, you're just not gonna do that, are you? saw somewhere that on some of those kinds of cases you're supposed to shoot them and then you can open them but I haven't yet been successful on getting any of that kind to open. Maybe I'm, I read the article wrong and I'm trying to open the wrong kind. I wish there was a way to like after a mission you can say like how much loot did I or like how much credits did I pick up in that that location and it gives you the running total of exactly how many credits you picked up there that would be cool That's just settling, you know, the ship settling noises. Nothing creepy or anything. Jeez, robot. I even verified that you were dead before and I still jumped when I saw you. Oh, take your garbage out once in a while. You can at least put it out the airlock or something. We already got enough garbage out in space. What's a little more? watching a little clip of Neil deGrasse Tyson's Star Talk where they were talking about, you know, everybody wants to go to Mars. Yep. But anyway, everybody wants to go to Mars because, you know, we trashed Earth. But Neil deGrasse Tyson was like, if we can go to Mars and terraform Mars, we can fix Earth. There's no reason to go there first. Well, hello there, Crix. Well, I see you got some credits. Oh. Don't mind if I do. Thank you for all the money that you left behind. Yeah. 
would be frustrating. Vault status. Warning. Cred tank vault on full lockdown. Command override from Captain Lang required to cancel the status. See documentation for details. Cancel lockdown. System is detecting severe internal damage to the connectivity of the security infrastructure. Lockdown reversal cancellation is not possible at this time. Please report this to the maintenance technician immediately. Vault documentation. Emergency procedures. Emergency procedures 1. In the event of a security threat, i.e. an emergency, which renders the cargo of the vessel at risk, a lockdown event will be automatically initiated. 2. During a lockdown event, all security bulkheads in the engineering and vault section will seal. Security doors leading into sensitive areas of the vault will seal. Security cameras throughout the ship will engage, and all internal defenses, turrets, and robots will activate. Three. The lockdown can only be canceled using the captain's transfer module in the vault control room. Four, please refer to your employee training guides on expected roles and behavior during a lockdown event. All right, vault credit transfer. All right, vault credit transfer. In order to properly offload the credits from internal cred tanks, please follow these instructions carefully. One. The captain and the authorized GAL bank representative at the drop-off point must be present in the vault control room with properly registered transfer modules. Two, both parties will insert their transfer module into the vault control console. Three, if a data storage device is present, place it into the proper receptacle connected to the vault control console. If mass offloading is being done into a certified GAL bank data con conduit connected at this time. Four, activate the transfer. Please note that the transfer will require over 70% of the ship's power to accomplish, assuming a full cred tank load, so some ship-wide services may be interrupted at this time. Five, when the transfer is complete, remove the transfer modules and disconnect the data storage device or gal bank data conduit. remember if I got the last one but I did all right Actually, wait a second. 
Waste not, need not. Yep, it says they can come for you. getting stabbed in your back let's face it he probably would have killed her at some point himself so power of right control yep all right credit reserves Could withstand it for a hundred years, but you can't now? What the hell? Well, I got that. I need my screen to load for me. There we go. Oh, I can see the gas. 
All right, Sam, let's get out of here. I don't know. How, which way did I gotta go? That way? Oh, that's a long drop. Sammy. Oh, no, oh, no. Gotta get out. Oh, no. Don't fall on me, pretty safe. Get out of here. Open. Thank you. Oh, jeez. Robot. Robot, I just need you to just be a friend right now. Get the ship going. We need to make a hasty exit. And I am not doing too good to go getting through the door. I probably should have done a quick save. Nice quick save before doing those power modules. Robots kindly show me the way out. I have seemed to have gotten turned around. so bad when, you know, nothing was gonna kill me, but now that it's all about to kill me, I don't like this bit at all. Oh, it's Vasco. I don't need to kill him. Dad, can I have a pet? A pet? 
Cora, your dad and I almost didn't make it off of that ship. So I don't think you need a pet. <laughs> oh. Alright, my feline friends, we're gonna end episode here. And we will meet back, I believe, at the Vigilance. I haven't quite decided yet, but I think we're going to meet at the Vigilance. So we'll start epi next episode at the Vigilance. See you there. <laughs>